Hey guys, it's Dr. J. Welcome back. I see you have been able to access the class and you're here. Uh, so I want to walk you through a couple things that you need to know. When you get to the home page uh, through your Canvas app, you'll have clicked the dashboard and seen Music 111. Uh, it'll take you to this home page. The only thing you can access before the class starts, the official first day of the class, is part zero before class. When you go into that, uh, it's going to show you a little bit of different things. It has an introduction page and a, a page about me and what I do. Um, the syllabus is there. Technology needs, you know it's an online class, so you're going to have to have constant access to technology. There are things that are due every single week, so you want to uh, make sure that even if you go out of town on vacation or whatever, you have a laptop or computer that you can access. Um, you can read all this stuff. This is expectations about uh, how discussions work. Um, we have a discussion every week. You post a couple paragraphs on that discussion topic and that's worth 15 points. Uh, the discussions are worth 25 points. You need to read and comment and post on at least two other classmates posts to get those additional five points and it needs to be uh, feedback and not just I agree with you. So you'll see a little bit more about that. Before you begin, this is probably the most important, I want you to understand that the class is organized in modules. The modules are all, all part of the first home page that you can see there. Let's go back one more time just so you can see. The only links I have available for a student view, maybe I should look at it in student view so it looks exactly like you see it, will be like this. The only thing I have is a home and a files and I wouldn't even have the files if I didn't have to have that for accessibility issues. Uh, but I want everything to be run through this home page, which means even the files button is here, announcements you'll see, uh, grades, and syllabus. So on the right hand column is a to-do list. I want you to get used to not looking at this. This is not important. What is most important is that you access everything through the units and modules down here. Okay, so we're headed back to before class. You'll have a couple of assignments before the class even starts, which is going to be found at the very bottom of the thing. Okay, so uh, every module is, um, is going to lead you and guide you through what you need to do that unit. Um, you can always check your progress by uh, clicking the grades button that I just showed you on the home page. Uh, it's really important to know. This might be the first time you're hearing this, but you're going to hear it over and over again. This is not a percentage-based class. This is a points-based class. Like when you play a video game and you level up, it's the same idea. You're starting with zero points. You need to get all the way up to 1,600 points to earn a C in the class and pass the class. If you continue earning, you level up to a B, you need 1,700 points, and you need 1,800 points to get an A in the class. Okay, so if you click grades and you see any kind of percentage on there, it says 64%. That doesn't matter. There's 3,200 points in the class, and you only need 1,600 to pass. That's a little more than half. All right. Uh, you can click and see the syllabus here. It'll download as a PDF. Okay. And when you open that PDF, it's going to uh, show you what kind of syllabus you have. Uh, you'll be able to see the grading scale. You'll also be able to see what book is required, which is the Enjoyment of Music Second Listening Edition, and uh, your rubrics and things are going to be here. Okay. The last thing I want to say is that before you start the class, you're going to need to go through this quiz zero that shows that you understand how the class works, and also there's a discussion to sort of get to know you guys. So I hope this gives you a good start and you're ready for the class to begin. Thank you so much. Email me if you have any questions. Have a great day.